morning guys diana here from garden love today i want to address this tree this huge apple tree if you guys have been following me for a long time you guys know that i transplanted this huge tree from someone's yard uh, i accidentally broke the bottom of the trunk and i wasn't sure if this tree was going to make it uh, but believe it or not it did not only did it make it it produced fruit for a lot of weeks tons and tons of fruit this little apple tree had if you guys go back to my videos, Lily was harvesting fruit from this tree all the time. <laughs> but because I wasn't sure if it was going to make it, I decided to put it in a wine barrel to see if it would make it. And um, if it did make it, then I was going to put it in the ground in this very same spot. And as you guys can see, a year later, it's starting to already leaf and flower which is really concerning to me because I really should have gotten this tree in the ground a lot sooner. I just haven't had the time. It's been raining like crazy here in California, which is an amazing thing. Um, I feel that everything's going to be producing tons and tons of fruit and vegetables due to all the rain that we got. And since it's been raining so much, it's going to be a lot easier to dig a hole in this um, in the ground, unlike last year when we tried to dig a hole and the ground was just solid hard and dry and it was just nearly impossible to dig a hole but i have a feeling that it's going to be a lot easier doing it today than it was last year when i was trying to do a small little hole behind me so here we go here is the beginning of a tra another transplant into the ground and i'm going to share it with you guys someone else wants to say hi hi chesty all right, let's get to it. Guys, I'm so excited to get this project going. I've been meaning to do it for a while, but this is actually a task that I needed to do with my husband's help. I actually mentioned earlier that this was a small tree, but quite the contrary. This is actually a very big tree in a wine barrel. My husband's about six foot one, and as you can see, the tree is way taller than he is. Now, right here, I needed to get something to kind of create space between the wine barrel and the roots because they were pretty stuck to the wine barrel so I just kind of had to get everything loose before we pulled it out. As you can see I had to help my husband pull the tree out of the wine barrel for just a little bit because it was so heavy and the roots are doing fantastic considering that I transplanted this from someone else's house into my house in a wine barrel and as you can see how long and tall this tree is. There's actually some roots here that my husband had to cut through in order to continue to dig the hole. We needed to be large enough for the whole root system to go into the ground. And as you can see here, this is a hard task to do. However, it was not nearly as hard as it was trying to dig a hole last year before the rain. I decided to give my husband a little break and I wanted to give it a go and help him continue to dig this hole. So here I go, my attempt to help. going to do the fun part we're gonna amend the soil with some amendment soil warm casting and shirt star that I put it into this red container for storage now I'm gonna just add the amendment soil in the hole I'm gonna add some warm castings and some shirt star that I put in this container and I'm gonna mix it all together once I'm done mixing it I'm going to mix it along with the native soil and I'm gonna pour it out of the hole into the native soil that way when I backfill the hole I'm going to be putting 50 50 50 of the native soil and 50 of the 
amendment that I have put together as you guys can see right here it's a little bit of this a little bit of that and voila we have the perfect combination This is definitely a task I couldn't have done without my husband. As you can see, he carried the tree back into the hole. Now this next task is a little complicated, but it's very crucial. I wanted to make sure that the tree was exactly the way I wanted it to be, so I definitely needed my husband's help. I wanted the wider part to be leaning towards the wall. That way it won't encroach in the walk-in area and as you can see it fit perfectly in the way I want it. He did have to move it a little bit a few times but we finally got it where we wanted it to be and as he's holding it I'm back filling the hole with the 50-50, the 50 native soil and the amendment soil that I put together for this tree. I'm just going to backfill the hole and I'm going to ensure that it's upright, which is one of the most important things when you put a tree in, make sure that it's upright. And if for some reason it's not staying, add something to hold the tree where it needs to be until the tree gets established. Unfortunately, I did not show what we did to hold this tree up. So just wait for an update and I'll show you guys what my husband helped me come up with. Um, so we can hold this tree upright in the perfect position until it got established. As you can see here, I'm making sure that I did not cover the tree trunk because I did not want root rot, root rot on the trunk. And I'm compacting the soil in. Once again, my husband's holding the tree while I'm doing this to ensure that it's upright. Make sure that you get all the air pockets out of the soil. Um, by condensing the soil as I'm doing here. Guys, I'm so excited with our results. I am so happy that this tree finally made it in the ground and I'm so excited the way this side of the house is coming along in this beautiful pathway. It's looking beautiful with all the edibles that I am putting around it. I can't wait to continue to add some more edibles to this project and continue to share everything with you guys thank you so much for coming along for your support and for all the comments that you guys always leave me i truly enjoy reading them and replying to them you guys have a good one